Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about a relatively recent discovery of how truly large and tremendously big our galaxy is. This new analysis finally establishes the size of our galaxy to the extent we've never really thought possible. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. It's actually kind of interesting that if you were to Google up size of the Milky Way, this is the result you get. Roughly around 52,000 or 53,000 light years in radius. And the same type of information will be also found in many different textbooks. And I guess in some sense it is true, but this is actually a slightly outdated version of what the galaxy is like. Uh, the cross section here, as you can see, shows us the location of the Sun and then the galaxy kind of ends right here. In other words, all of this refers to the very easily visible part of the galaxy and ignores a large part of the galaxy known as the galactic halo that is truly incredibly large in comparison to what we see here. The best example of a typical galactic halo comes from the images of the largest galaxy we've ever discovered, IC1101. Here, technically, I guess you can maybe call this a galaxy, but in, in reality, the halo extends to dramatic levels. This makes this galaxy 2 million light years across and the biggest example of what's known as an elliptical galaxy with a super, super huge halo around it. And it's slightly easier to see it in this black and white image where you can see that the visible galaxy um, is definitely large, but the halo is even larger. And so our galaxy is no exception. It also has a very large halo around it, but it's obviously super difficult to see. As a matter of fact, the paper that I posted in the description below that talks about the new measurements of our size of our galaxy specifically states that it's actually kind of as if you're looking at the size of the forest by measuring everything from within, from inside the forest. It's a very difficult task, it's super difficult to do, but they managed to do it really well. And so the team behind this particular paper from Japan used the Subaru telescope with extremely sensitive cameras to try to discover the true sheer size of our galaxy. Now this is what they looked for. They looked for really really bright stars and also really bright globular clusters with various variable stars such as for example RR Lyra variables that you can kind of see uh, sparkling right there on the image. These really bright blue stars sparkle or technically change luminosity very periodically and by knowing their periods and how luminosity changes we can very accurately uh, determine the distance to those objects. So they've discovered several hundred of these stars and uh, they looked at a tremendous amount of various global clusters as well and you can actually see there's quite a lot of them hiding right there in the halo of our galaxy. And by looking at all of these global clusters and all of these RR Lyra stars, they discovered something unusual. Now normally you expect the so-called um, density of dust and stars to slowly decrease as you move away from the center of the galaxy. But there's a distance at which suddenly there's a instant drop in both density and the number of stars. And they've discovered where this happens. And it happens at a really far away distance. I'm actually going to try to help you visualize this by moving to that distance right now. The sudden drop in uh, stars and uh, in global clusters happens roughly at a distance of about 522,000 light years away from the center. That's about 20 times as far away as Earth and the Sun are from the center. So that's basically somewhere right here. And that is really, really far. So this literally is the so-called limit of the galactic halo for the Milky Way galaxy. This makes our galaxy tremendously large compared to what we believed originally and what we normally think of when we think of a galaxy and its size. And what's even more interesting is that this actually makes our galaxy almost as large as the Andromeda. The biggest neighbor that we have, the Andromeda galaxy, at a distance of roughly around 2.5 million light years away from us, is just a little bit more in terms of size of its halo. The size of this galaxy is about 534,000, whereas the size of our galaxy is 522,000 light years. And also in one of the previous videos I've discussed how we may have underestimated the mass of our own galaxy, so it looks like the Milky Way is slightly smaller but more massive overall which is actually a huge surprise when you think about it. 
And here I tried to recreate all of this in Universe Sandbox by using the original model of Sagittarius A star and then placing a bunch of objects that I called moons basically, each of which represents different stars and different globular clusters just to give you an idea of how large the halo really is. So here, if we zoom into it, it's actually surprisingly a black hole. Um, I guess I miscalculated the mass there, but this roughly gives you an idea of how tremendously large our galaxy really is. This halo is really big. There are billions of stars here. There are a lot of masses of the stars. There's obviously a lot of things like black holes. There's probably also a lot of dark matter hiding here. And we found at least 150 globular clusters um, in the halo of the galaxy, meaning that it's basically a tremendously massive place. But it is more dim, it's more difficult to see, so that's why the typical textbook will never really show you this. It will never really display a galaxy as something like this. It will probably just show you the typical galaxy shape that we are used to. And the other thing they discovered that's sort of interesting is that the vast majority of all of these objects that I seem to be losing now because they came too close to the galaxy um, is actually really old. So instead, let's use a real globular cluster from a Space Engine in the halo of our galaxy. So this right here has a lot of really ancient stars. Pretty much all of the stars here are at least 12 billion years old. And there's a lot of um, very ancient systems with a lot of ancient planets and probably a lot of ancient mysteries as well. All of these are remnants of really, really old events that happened in the creation of our own galaxy, probably when the uh, smaller galaxies collided together, eventually forming the Milky Way. So all of these collisions happened approximately 12 billion years ago, and the results or the leftovers from these collisions stayed as the halo in our galaxy, while most major stars came closer and closer to the center, forming what we know as a Milky Way spiral galaxy that we have today. And so all of this suggests that around 12 billion years ago, several smaller galaxies very likely combined together. And this of course also suggests that at some point Milky Way was probably much larger before the uh, disk was created and before it solidified as the shape that we know today. It was very likely a much, much, much larger object with a lot of diffuse matter and a lot of other uh, ancient stars orbiting around it. Now, on that note, that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. It's definitely a really cool discovery, a very interesting redefinition of the size of the galaxy, and most importantly, it will probably inspire other scientists to look around and discover some other things that we kind of take for granted, but are probably incorrect. On that note, once we learn more about our galaxy, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video, but for now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you still haven't. Share this with someone who loves learning about sciences and wants to know more about the universe in general and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me quite a lot. I'll see you tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye-bye.